yeah. that's how I can go. Garrett, congratulations on the win. Uh, Thank going, you. going to the scorecards with the fact that it was in Canada, how are you feeling uh, when the judges were reading the scorecards? Um, I got this thing where like I don't know how my fight's going when I'm fighting, I'm just fighting. Um, and so I really didn't know how to score it uh, because he did get the takedowns and the cage control at the end. And he did hold me against the cage the majority of the third round. But um, I knew that I knew that he was missing a lot. Um, I kind of felt myself like into the matrix there. I felt kind of cool, like, you know? <laughs> and then um, I knew I was beating him to the jab and I was touching him a lot more. Um, I thought it was going to be a split decision. Uh, I didn't know how it was going to go either way. I thought it was a close fight. Hats off to Brad. He's a hell of a competitor. He's a veteran and we know that. And we came ready to go to the decision. Um, we push ourselves so much every single day. Uh, I'm, a sm I'm at a small gym in the middle of Kansas City. Like, nobody knows this, but um, listen up, world. Like, Marathon and Meg, Garrett Arnfield, Miles John, Trey Ogden, Mike Breeden. Uh, you know, start paying attention to us. <laughs> Click that follow button on Instagram. Follow our journey because uh, we're coming for the top and we're coming to take what's ours. Um, I, I want another contract. I want more money. I want more fame. I want everything. Um, I, have, I put the hard work since I was a kid to be able to get this moment. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to soak it in because... Um, it is long overdue for me to get this, you know? I've had dreams of winning a belt since I was like eight years old. I didn't, I didn't know what it was. On career day in the fifth grade, I showed up wearing my kickboxing uniform, right? Wearing a little tank top in freaking school uh, that said like T uh, USA Karate, right? Um, and uh, here I am now, man, just, uh, just chasing after everything that I've dreamed I've and just, manifested. And just to piggyback off what you said there, you know, you left Kill Cliff, you went yeah. to a smaller gym at yeah. Marathon. It really seems like <laughs> you are a different fighter and it's a much better fit for you. Yeah. How different do you feel in the Octagon? Because it's back-to-back -back wins now. Yeah, so, um, you know, hats off to my old team as well. They're a great team and uh, I love all of them. You know, they did a good job of preparing me for fights. And the only UFC fight I had under them was a, was a short notice fight. So, uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm a completely different fighter, mm -hmm. but one thing I do know is that the relationship that I have with my coaches for, I've known you guys for like, what, eight months now? That's it, you know? Um, they're my brothers, man. It's crazy. Like, I'm, I hang out with my coach every single day and Miles every day for five hours a day, six days a week. Um, and so it's just crazy, like, the bond I build, and I think that's what it was, is that, like, I completely trust them. And um, just the level of instruction, like, if you guys ever get the chance to go back and listen to some fights at Bay Corner, Trey is a mastermind behind the, the cage, you know, yeah. he is. And so I'm lucky to have him. I'm lucky to have everybody. I'm lucky to have my family. Uh, this is my family's first time in Canada. And uh, I'm just like so thankful. All I want to do is get back to them now, you know, so. How have you liked Toronto so far other than the weather? I loved it. And uh, actually Kansas City was like negative three last week. So uh, actually kind of prepared us for it, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, Toronto is a beautiful city. Um, I love how diverse it is because a lot of times in Kansas City, it's not very diverse. That's why I love being able to see the world and see what it all has to offer. Um, you know, I think everybody should just get out and just see what it is, and it's going to really humble you real quick, you know. Did you ever end up getting a Maple Leafs jersey? No, no I didn't. I didn't. I, well, they, they lost tonight anyway, so it probably wouldn't have worked out. But Well, maybe uh, if I wore it, they would have won, you know. May, maybe. There you go. Exactly. No, and, I, and just, I was going to go get one, and then I went down to the media, and they said that uh, they might have, like, a Nike sign on them, and, you know, so... Oh. Uh, they're like, no, we can't. A lot of people wanted to. So um, I didn't get to, but I'm going to go buy one now with these two checks. <laughs> they are pretty pricey. Uh, just last one for me. Um, in terms of, uh, you know, after the fight and all this, are you just going to continue fighting guys and, you know, in their backyard, so to speak? Hell like yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. You know, it's how I get my, that's how I want to get fans, you know? I want to go out and, I want to go out and I want to see the world. I want to get some money and I want to get some new fans and, uh, Hell, I want to I take my girl with me, too. I want to show her the world. Gary, I heard you right. Um, you mentioned wanting a new contract there. Obviously, you're three fights in now. So are you hoping to negotiate a new deal? Yes, I am. I think that I beat the two-time Ultimate Fighter winner. I deserve a new contract, plain and simple. And, um, you know, I work for it. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and beg for it. You know, of course, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, burn bridges or anything like that or do anything bad, you know. Um, you know, I, I would like one, but they want me to fight one more time. Let's go, man. <clears throat> Excuse me, little voice crack. Uh, <laughs> send, me some, send me to another country. Uh, hell, like send me overseas. Let's go. Let's go to Europe. Let's go somewhere else. Like I want to see the world, and let's, uh, let's get that fourth fight then under that contract, and we'll get a new contract. And you mentioned it right there. You have now beat the two-time ultimate fighter or ultimate fighter, however you want to look at it. I mean, how much of a feather in your cap is that? That is a huge feather in my cap. I did what... Um, and uh, all respect to all these fighters, but that man beat Kyler Phillips, that man beat Bryce Mitchell, that man beat Chase Gibson, that man beat um, 
a huge amount of names. Cody Gibson, excuse me, not Chase Gibson. Um, Cody Gibson, thank you, James. Um, but Garrett Armfield, he did not beat. He lost to Garrett Armfield because I'm a hell of a fighter. And last one for me, you mentioned wanting to go maybe to Europe, see the world a little. Any particular country or destination that you would really like to check out? Oh, that's a good one. Um, Rome. I want to go to Rome. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Italy. That is awesome. Right back to the Colosseum and the origins. Exactly, of the right? Right, you know. Hell yeah. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, man. Hey, Garrett. Um, hey. You said you thought this was going to be a split. Yeah. When you heard unanimous. Were you like, uh oh, what, what's what's happening? Or were you pretty confident? I don't know. You know, I honestly like, I just didn't. I don't know. I don't know. What I thought I was like, cool, it could go either way, um, because I know I did beat him in the striking. But he, again, he is a veteran, so I thought he did play the round well. He did get the takedown in the last 30 seconds, and he did hold me against the fence. He did play his like the playbook very well. Um, but I got that dog in me, <laughs> so uh, that that was good. Um, yeah. And you mentioned, you know, training at the new gym and a yeah. small gym and new coaches and training partners. How are you able to build that bond so quickly? You said you're, you've really only been there for eight months. Mm -hmm. um, how do you connect with new training partners and coaches so quick? <laughs> I'm, there, I'm there five hours a day. And we, uh, we push ourselves each other every day, you know? Um, I, I respect anybody that has the balls to step on a mat. It doesn't matter if you're a weekend warrior, if you're a hobbyist, if it's your first time stepping into the, the gym or the first time taking a fight, I respect you. And uh, I feel like we all speak a different language. I feel like fighters speak a different language to each other, that it's like this like unbroken, unspoken bond, you know? Like, uh, just is, is what it is, you know? Quick one on the front right here. Yeah. You had mentioned the temperatures and everything back in Kansas City. Yeah. Uh, obviously, thousands of people kind of lost power, too. A lot of them got stuck because yeah. of the snow and everything. So was everything good back in Kansas City for you? Um, yeah, it was pretty cold, man. It was. It was hard to get up and go to the gym. At, trade is not closed. Marathon of May. It's uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. It was like it was like two weeks ago, and it was like negative ten, and we just got like eight inches of snow, and there's all snow on the roads. And I texted, uh, I think I texted Miles, and I was like, "You think the gym's open?" He's like, "No, no way." And of course, there's Trey. Hey guys, I'm here. Let's train. All right. Well, shit. Like it obviously pays off that we work harder than everybody else. Oh, uh, Garrett, sorry, I wanted to ask. Yeah. Um, that was an impressive, like, rattling off of Brad's wins. Did you only know that because you obviously were researching your opponent? Or are you a fan of the game? Because fighters tell us all the time, like, that they don't watch MMA outside of what's ahead of them. Are, are you like... No, no, I'm a big fan. Um, I also, I go down to the topology rabbit hole all the time. Like, you guys ever click a name, and then you see the brings to them, and you click that name, and you go to that name, and then you go, yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I do, like, I do a lot of research on fighters. Um, you know, like, we, like uh, again, like my coach says, you have to be a student of the game or this game's going to pass you up. Is that all? Hell yeah. I love you, Kansas City. Woo! <laughs>